Hey, I'm Chris, and here are my top 10 most anticipated games at Origins 2018. So all of these games are going to be either for demo or sale at Origins, and I'll let you know which one. Not all of them are going to be for sale, some of them they're just showing off before um, Gen Con releases, things like that. If you're interested, obviously this list is only 10 games, but linked in the description below there's a geek list I have of over 60 games that I'm interested in if you want to check that out. These were taken from the Board Game Geek um, list of all the Origins, releases, demos, all that kind of stuff. That's also linked below. So if you want to see all the games, there's like 250 or something like that on the list. Uh, definitely follow that link below to check it out. I'm only going to talk very briefly on each one of these games, so if you want more info, that's the best way to find it. All right, let's get right into them. First up is a special mention, and it's The Mind. This is going to be for sale from Pandasaurus Games. I didn't put this in my proper top 10 list because I've already played it quite a few times. I already own a copy that I imported, and I was having a lot of trouble kind of like figuring out where to put it because it's hard to rank games that you've played a good amount versus games that you haven't played at all. Um, so I wanted to give a little special mention to that. If you want more information, um, my Spiel des Jahres video, where I talk about the Spiel des Jahres nominees that came out last week, I talk pretty uh, in-depth about the mind and why I like it so much, but make, it's safe to say that I'm a big fan of that game. Number 10 is Holding On, The Troubled Life of Billy Kerr. This is going to be for demo from Hub Games. Uh, this is a really interesting cooperative game where you play people working in a medical facility. There is a patient that comes in, Billy Kerr, uh, who only has a couple days left to live, and you're trying to balance like dealing with medical emergencies with gaining his trust and kind of finding out about his troubled past. Um, it's a really unique, interesting theme for a game that I'm interested to see how it plays out. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's, you know, like a fun romp uh, type of game. It seems like a kind of sad exploration type of game. Um, so I'm definitely interested in that just because it's branching out from the normal kind of games that the majority of games are. Number nine is Beta Colony. This is going to be for sale from Rio Grande Games. Uh, in this game, you're trying to colonize a new planet, which has kind of been a theme happening quite a bit uh, lately, thanks to maybe Terraforming Mars. Maybe it's also just groupthink. A lot of people happen to do that all at once. Anyways, the thing that most interests me about this is this has what they call a roll del mechanic, which is there's a rondel and you roll dice and then you select certain ones of those dice. Uh, one of them is going to be how far you move around the rondel, and another one is going to be kind of what power you activate on that rondel. Um, based on the number on your die. Um, I love rondels and games, and I love input randomness from dice in Euro games, so this sounds like it's right up my alley. Number eight is Spy Club. This is gonna be for demo from Renegade and Foxtrot Games. Uh, in this game, you are kids trying to solve mysteries, kind of like the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew type stuff. Um, I got to play a prototype of this a while back, and I really liked it. It's a co-op game um, with an interesting like story campaign mode that you can play that takes place over five games. Um, so you, like, each time you unlock, like, a new, unique, randomized story, which is a really cool thing, and it's totally resettable, so it's not like a legacy game where you have to rip stuff up. Um, there are over 40 different modules, and you're only going to play with five of them in any given game, and the way they come out, like, the order they come out and that kind of stuff, um, changes things up, so there's a ton of replay value beyond just being able to play the game as normal. So, it's a pretty cool idea. Number seven is Warsaw, City of Ruins. This is going to be for sale from North Star Games. Uh, in this, you are building and rebuilding the city of Warsaw. It's a tile drafting game, and you're laying tiles in a grid like normal, but your grid can only ever be 3x4 or 4x3. Um, so you're going to have to like overlay tiles, and you're going to have to stack them vertically and basically build over the old city. Um, I love tile laying games. I love tile stacking games, which is a trend that's kind of come out in the past year or two. Um, so I'm all in on this one. Number six is Escape Plan. This is going to be for demo from Eagle Griffin Games. This is the new Vital Lacerda um, design, so of course it's gotten a lot of uh, popularity and buzz surrounding it. He's mainly known for his heavier Euros like Lisboa or The Gallerist. This seems like it's going to be a lighter fare where you are a bunch of criminals, you've successfully pulled off a heist, but now you're trying to have the getaway, your escape plan. Um, in it, you're going to be have to work together some to get away from the police and all that kind of stuff, but in the end, only one player wins. It's the person with the most cash on hand at the end of the game wins the game. So it's an interesting sort of like semi-co-op, but not co-op at all game. Number five is Century Eastern Wonders. This is going to be for sale from Plan B Games. This is the follow-up to the hit game Century Spice Road from a year or two ago by Emerson Matsuchi. Um, this is a pick-up-and-deliver game where you're sailing around um, the Indonesian islands as merchants doing spice trade. And uh, 
It seems like a really cool standalone game, but you can also combine it with um, Century Spice Road to make the Sand and Sea variant where you're combining the two games together. And I'm pretty sure there's a third game coming out that you will also be able to combine. So it's this interesting kind of like standalone modular expansion thing going on. So I'm definitely interested to try it out. Number four is Coimbra. This is for demo from Eggertspiel. Uh, in this game, you take on the role of a head of one of Coimbra's kind of oldest houses, and you're trying to gain notoriety. Um, this is a dice placement euro, uh, or a dice-based euro. I'm not quite sure if it uses dice placement in the traditional sense, or you're moving dice around a board, but input randomness dice in euro games, as I mentioned. I love that. Um, it's from the designers of Grand Austria Hotel and Marco Polo, which were very, very popular, well-received um, dice placement games from the past couple years, or dice drafting, I guess, Grand Austria Hotel was. I liked both of those games. Neither one, like, I didn't love it at the level everybody else did. I thought they were both really solid designs, but this one looks really good, and I absolutely love the cover art on this. I think that bears mentioning. Number three is Welcome To. This is gonna be for sale from Deepwater Games. This is a roll and write game that's actually, you don't roll, it's card based where you're flipping cards over and then using the things on the front combined with the back of the cards. Um, and you're trying to build a town in like 1950s Americana. You're trying to build the best town. You're gonna be marking off different locations on your map and trying to like optimize uh, locations and things like that. I really like the idea where you flip a card face up and that's kind of the action that you can take, but then the back of the card that you flipped it from is the power at which you get to take that. So it'll have like a three and you get to do it three times or mark it in a three spot or whatever. Um, and there's several different stacks of cards. So it seems like cool uh, variability going on in the game. And Roll and Rights are big right now. I like Roll and Rights right now. This one looks nice. It looks like it has a nice theme as well, which some Roll and Rights don't. Uh, so excited about this one. Number two is Teotihuacan, City of Gods. This is for demo from NSKN Games. Uh, in this, you're building the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Um, it's a dice placement where you're managing a force of dice workers that you're moving around the board. So again, dice input randomness in Euro games. I love it. Uh, one big thing is it's from the designers of Tzulkin, which came out probably like five or so years ago at this point. Um, and Tzulkin was one of the most kind of innovative, creative, weird Euro games that has these like interlocking gears that move. It's a really cool take on a worker placement game, so I'm very excited to see uh, those designers kind of return to making these kind of like mid heavyweight Euros. Um, so definitely super interested in checking this one out. And my number one game is Reef. This is for demo from Next Move Games. Uh, in it, you are a coral reef growing, you're building a coral reef, and you're gaining points for different patterns and colors. Uh, this is also by Emerson Matsuchi, who I mentioned earlier for um, the Century Games. Um, and this is coming out from Next Move Games, which Azul, even though it was originally released from Plan B Games, got moved to Next Move Games, and now Next Move is doing these, like, abstract strategy games that are very easy to learn with a lot of depth of strategy, um, with really nice pieces, nice bits, um, and they're all going to have four-letter titles, so Azul and Reef. Um, this is the second in that line, so I absolutely loved Azul, I thought it was great. Um, I think Emerson's a great designer, and this game looks right up my alley. Really simple, uh, really light, but um, some interesting strategic depth. So definitely interested in checking this one out. All right, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. I generally do board game news every single Wednesday, so if you're interested in knowing kind of keeping up to date with what's going on in board games, make sure you subscribe to that. Uh, I won't be doing it next week because I will be at Origins Game Fair. If you're there, make sure you say hi. But then after that, I'll be doing it every week like normal. Um, follow me on social media. I'm at Chris Bryan Games on Instagram and Twitter. Um, that way you can keep up with all the things happening with this channel and beyond that. I also have a Patreon linked in the description below. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, a good way to show me that is by supporting me on Patreon. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week or week after next as it may be. Yeah, you get it.